Cause you were born with mischief in your eyes And fire in your veins Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another book review. So I'm going to start this video off saying I apologize if there are any random cuts or if you hear baiting because the neighbors upstairs are very active this week and unfortunately with something like this it's crunch time I have to get it recorded to put out to you guys so I really don't have a choice of just waiting until the weekend or next week when my neighbor is not on vacation so I apologize so today's book review is for Seven Ways We Lie by Riley Redgate. This book is 352 pages long and I received this through NetGalley from Ambulant Books which is the publishing company. <clears throat> this book also comes out on March 8th for those of you who are wondering and you can find it on Kindle for $9.99 although it is weird because it is an e-textbook and not an e-book. Um, 1049 on the Nook, and the hardcover will be 17.95. So let's just get into my review for this book, why don't we? And I have Callie laying right here. She'll make an appearance at some point in this video, I'm sure. So this book actually started out pretty interesting, but after the first point of view, the next like two were really slow, and I really didn't understand why they were there. You understand more going into the book, further into the book, you understand why those points of view are there. Um, however, the point of view changes were actually done really, really well. I really enjoyed how she did the point of view changes. They flowed very well. They were pretty good. Um, the part that really sucked me back in was Juniper's first point of view, the way she wrote it, it just really sucked you back in. You're like, wait, what's going on with this character? What? Now I need to know what happens. Um, which was interesting, you know. Uh, the first couple points of view were like really slow, they were just getting the backstory in, but at the same time, it wasn't interesting enough and then it became really interesting once you hit this certain point of view and it's like now I need to know what happens um I really did like the diversity of the characters in this uh there were straight characters gay characters pansexual characters all kinds of different characters in this um you know different races different sexualities and it was really interesting to read. Um, I really like books that have those diverse characters in them and this was definitely an interesting one. Um, this book though definitely gave me flashbacks to high school because you know this takes place at a high school. Uh, if you want the description or where to buy the book check out my blog post it's always linked down below. Um, but this made me flash back to high school because there were certain cliques and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember these cliques in my high school. There were certain things that I was like, Dane, I'm glad that didn't happen when I was in high school. Um, and I graduated from high school seven years ago, almost. It'll be seven years in June and it's crazy to think about. Um, I was really drawn to the characters in this story, um... After a while, I just became really invested in the story. The characters just really grew on me and I really enjoyed their points of view. Um, I was definitely surprised by certain parts of this book um, because, you know, you don't know who this book is tailored around until about halfway through the book and then you find out some information that, you know, surprises you and then I liked how after you found out who this book was tailored around there's more to it it's not just oh that's the ending which I really enjoyed um I do think though that Matt and Olivia were probably my favorite characters and if you're wondering I am cold right now it's like 
9 15 in the morning and our heat hasn't kicked on yet because it doesn't because I'm not allowed to turn the heat on until my dad gets up and it sucks but um yeah Matt and Olivia were definitely my favorites they I just really liked their story and how it flowed and where it went and just everything about their particular storyline within this story was just really interesting and I really enjoyed it. Um, overall, I'm sorry. Overall, I really enjoyed this book. I did not have a lot to say about it. It's, you know, your typical high school book, but it is definitely an interesting read. I do highly suggest this book. Um, there just wasn't much criticism I could give it and not much praise I could give it either other than the character development. The character development was so good in it and I really enjoyed the character development. Um, I am definitely going to pick myself up a physical copy at some point in March or April depending on when I have a chance. But I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars and I do highly suggest it. And like I mentioned, I have a blog post to link down below for this where you can find, where you can purchase it on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble, um, as well as the Goodreads description for this book. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this book review and I will see you guys all next time. And surprisingly, Callie didn't make an appearance. She's sleeping. So, I'll see you guys all next time. Bye! Cause you were born with mischief in your eyes and